YouTube! Um, I'm trying this again because, once again, for whatever reason, my audio refuses to work on YouTube when I try and upload a video there. So, um, I'm just going to start over, so don't watch, uh, I'll delete the other video, but um, this is my eight and a half week uh, check-in, and I apologize profusely for the three week lapse in time. Um, as you can see, I look slightly disheveled, and I basically was just kind of waiting for a time when I wasn't exhausted or tired or uh, busy or looking disheveled, like I said, um, and it just wasn't happening. So I decided that um, I should just update, regardless of how I look. So I apologize. Um, it's been a really long day. It's, you know, 10.30 at night, and I worked more than my fair share today. So, um all that to say, that does mean that I did get a, a full-time position, which is exciting because I was unemployed for the six months before that. Um, and it's uh, the Youth Administrative Assistant position at the, the church that I go to. So um, that's fun. It does not pay, like, hardly at all. I make pennies, basically, uh, half, less than half of what I used to make at my last job. So um, it's rather unfortunate. But you know what? At this point in time, it's obviously where I'm supposed to be because it is the only position that I was offered. So, all that to say, um, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. Not only did I go from being unemployed for six months, but um, like I said in my last video, I started some temporary jobs. And you know, anytime you start a job, it's just stressful. You don't even know how to answer the phone, what to do, any of that stuff. So, um, and this job is extremely stressful because it's not actually something I've ever done before. I'm um, in, in charge of the junior high and high school youth group, um, like planning and organizing their events type thing. So it's not it's something I've done before, but I, I do really like the job. So that worked out well. All that to say, um, let me get to the exciting stuff because, frankly, the shorter the video, the easier it is to watch. So I'll at least get all the fun stuff done, and then if I want to keep yapping at you guys, um, you can at least be done if you're overhearing me babble. Um, I, like I said, it's been eight and a half weeks since surgery. I had surgery July 17th, gastric bypass, and um, I have lost 77 pounds in that time, which is awesome, and I'm super excited. Um, but I have lost a large child, and I'm still fat, and I don't like it. I don't like being still fat. Um, it's obviously much better than it used to be, and I will take 77 pounds. Like, I'm ecstatic over that. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I I don't know. It's just it's hard looking in the mirror and seeing a fat person still after you've lost that much. And since April, um, when I weighed my heaviest, 331, I have lost 93 pounds, and that's basically a small adult. <laughs> So, I don't know, that's, it's really hard for me, but I've been taking, like, before and after pictures, and I see a, I do see a difference, so it's, it's good, I'm excited, and frankly, I feel a hundred times better than I did eight weeks ago, you know, just, I can go up two flights of stairs, and I'm hardly winded, which, before, I would go up a flight of stairs, and be stuck in air like I had just run, like, half a marathon, so, um, you know, there's awesome changes and things that I'm super excited about. So, another thing is, is that I think I mentioned this last time that I was a pant size down, and I'm now officially down two pant sizes. So, I start, um, and I'm 5'7". I know some of you people have asked, excuse me, have asked about how tall I am, and I realize I never told you guys. I'm 5'7", and I started out at 331, and I was a size 24, 26. I am now down to 238. And I'm a size 20, 22, it depends. I, you know, I was able to wear some, I'm able to wear most 20s. Some are too tight. I'm able to wear some 22s, but they're baggy and loose and they're not, I mean, I work in a professional setting. So walking in with my like pants that I look like I crapped myself in. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when the butt of your pants like sags down and you're like, oh, it kind of looks like I crapped myself. Um, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But, so those are two really exciting things, and I'm down two shirt sizes. So, um, thankfully, 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 I was delusional when I, before I had surgery, and thought that I would get back down to my, uh, my current weight without having to do surgery. I don't know. It was back before I had even thought about surgery. Anyway, I, 
all that to say, I saved all, not all, but a large majority of the clothes that I wore at those sizes. So I haven't had to actually buy any new clothes, which is fantastic. I mean, I'm wearing the same, like, five shirts. But it is what it is. And at least they're my clothes, and I know that I like them, and they fit pretty well. So uh, no complaints on that front. But I don't know. What, what do you guys do with your leftover fat clothes? Like, I don't necessarily want to get rid of all of them. One, I would like to be able to do, like, a before and after picture, like, when I get down to my goal weight. And, like, half the people who do that get down to, like, get themselves down into, like, one pant one one of the legs of their old pants. So, you know, I want to be able to do stuff like that. I don't want to get rid of all of them, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just give them to Salvation Army. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I don't, I'm kind of just babbling to myself right now. So, some things that I've had issues with in the last three weeks are... Um, I, it is a really hard habit to break to not eat your food, you to like chew your food like five or six times, basically to make it not whole and then swallow it. Um, it's been a, that's been probably one of the hardest things for me to do only in that it's not that I don't like doing it. That's, I mean, I don't like doing it, but it's more that, um, I forget I'm sitting there having a conversation with somebody and I just like swallow real quick after kind of chawing on it a couple times and mm -mm, no it does not go down well and I'm usually done eating after I do that because it just I know that it's gonna start stacking up here like it did at the beginning by the way that is like a hundred percent gone unless I don't chew right um, which is my fault that's not the surgery's fault that's my fault so um, thankfully it just means that I can I take responsibility and change things so it's nice um, the other thing is, is that I can drink normal water now, normal water, unflavored, and it makes me so happy. I am actually drinking more now that I'm not drinking, like, the flavored Mio water, and I still like Mio, but I was kind of, I was getting sick of it. I don't know about you guys, but if that's all you're ever drinking, and you find a couple flavors that you like, you just kind of stick with them. It's, yeah, so... Needless to say, I'm very happy that I can drink normal water again. It does not upset my stomach, and that makes me happy. Um, some other things, I ate lettuce and cabbage for the first time today, and they both went down without a problem. But I do find that, like, I, for myself, like, I find a couple things that go down pretty smooth for me. Because I don't like being sick. I, you know, I've actually, I have thrown up twice. And it's not because of what I ate, per se, because both times I threw up, I had actually eaten that exact same meal for, the, like, the dinner before or something, you know, the night before. Um, and it was, went down fine, but sometimes things just do not settle well. I don't know why, and I um, would love to know why, but um, they just, I don't know. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm fine, everything's fine, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, that, mm-mm. This is not feeling good in my tum tum. Most of the time I'm fine, but like I said, twice I've gone and puked. Oh, oh, I just saw my ring here in um, the thing. This is my high school class ring that I have not been able to wear for six years. And I have been wearing it this last week, and it fits. Like, it actually fits. It's a little snug. It's a little snug, but it comes on and off. Nope. No problem. I say that <laughs> grudgingly. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's another really exciting thing. Things that I just, I thought that I would probably never wear again, and I'm wearing them, and it makes me happy, and yeah. So now I need to go back and find, like, I have a couple other rings that I really, really, really love that I, I couldn't wear anymore, but I'm kind of rambling, and I apologize. So, um, I think that kind of covers it. Feeling sick sometimes, but for the most part, things are so much better than they were when I first started back on solid foods two or th three weeks ago. When I started on solid foods, I was thinking, oh my god, I've made a mistake. Like, this is not going down well. I'm freaking out because I feel sick all the time. But it worked out. I'm Everything's getting better. Uh, my vitamins are fine. I need to get... Oh, okay. So, this is going to be a major TMI. And if you are a gentleman, you may want to stop watching at this point. I'm probably This is probably the last thing I'm going to talk about. So, you don't need to worry about it. But this is for the ladies. Unless you're a creeper guy and you want to hear about this, which is fine, whatever, I don't care. 
But in the last eight weeks, I, so I went into surgery and I was supposed to have started my period. Like the day of surgery, I was supposed to have started. Thankfully, I didn't. My body waited a week, which was really nice. And I had my period for a week like normal. And then I didn't have a period for a week. And then I had a period for a week. And then I didn't have a period for a week. And then I had a period for two weeks. So of the last eight weeks, four of them, I've been on my period. Which, let me tell you, I have never felt more anemic in my entire life. And I'm not, I'm not anemic. Like, I'm kind of sometimes borderline anemic. Like, I really like to chew ice, whatever. Um, you know, some of my blood tests have come back, like, really close to being actually anemic. But I've never actually come back as anemic. And anyway, all that to say, I need to find an iron supplement. I have not been taking my iron supplement because I couldn't find anything. I have heard a rumor that Walmart sells a chewable iron supplement. So I think I'm going to try and go pick that up. Um, but just be prepared. I'm cranky as hell. Like, as hell, I'm cranky. I blame that on the lack of food as well, because, yeah, I'm hungry. No, I'm not hungry. That's not true. And I don't mourn food anymore the way I used to. I, I kind of went through my mourning period of, like, I just want to eat some pizza. And I couldn't eat pizza, of course. I still can't eat pizza. I'm not allowed to eat carbs for six months. Let me tell you, it's easy to cheat that one, though. If you take a couple bites and stop it's, you're, you don't get sick. At least I don't. But, I, you know, every once in a while, if I'm freaking out, like, I let myself have, like, I don't know, the other day I let myself have two wheat thins, and, like, yesterday I let myself have, um, one of the croutons on my salad. So, you know, like, I mean, it's nothing major, but nothing I'm proud of either, so, I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go now, because I'm just kind of babbling at this point, and it's late, and I need to go to work in the morning, so, Hopefully I can um, watch all of your guys'... It's been like a week since I've watched videos, so I apologize. Um, but hopefully I'll get caught up and I will uh, hear from all of you guys. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.